So you're at the welding supply store, staring at the wall of electrodes, 6013, 7018, what's the difference? Let me break that down for you right now and let's do it fast. So today we're breaking down the difference between two popular electrodes, your 6013 and your 7018. So if you're brand new to welding or just curious as to what the difference is for your welding project, stick around because I've got arc shots, I've got tips, and I've got side-by-side -side comparisons to make that a little bit easier to understand. Just a reminder to subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing here. And if you're new to welding, be sure to check out some of my other videos, such as common mistakes or even how to weld with a 7018. Now, even though these two electrodes are the same in diameter, that applies to the core wire. When we look at the overall coating, of that flux, you can see that your 7018 on the left is much thicker than your 6013. And that's due to the high amounts of iron powder, which is responsible for deposition or the amount of material that can be deposited in a certain amount of time. Let's break that down. 6013 is excellent for light fabrication, sheet metal, farm repair, and hobby welding. You'll notice that the arc is very smooth and not too aggressive, making it pretty easy to put a nice looking bead down. Now let's talk about your 7018. This is your low hydrogen, high strength rod. This is good for structural applications, pressure vessels, or anything that requires a cold quality weld. Let's start with the basics. Both of these are SMAW or stick welding electrodes, and both have their own strengths, but are used in very different ways. 6013 is great for light fabrication, sheet metal, farm repairs, and hobby welding. It's easy to strike, produces a soft arc, and it's forgiving, even if your technique isn't perfect, making it excellent for beginners. Your polarity choice is nice because you can run this on AC, DC positive, or even DC negative. It has medium to shallow penetration, and the slag is a fast freeze. It's used when welding thin materials or if you're just starting out. The difference between 6013 and 7018 stick electrodes is that unless you purchase a 7018 specific for AC, that 7018 should be ran on DCEP. It has medium penetration and the iron powder gives you an easy peeling slag. If you need welds that are strong that will withstand a dynamic load, 7018 is your better choice. 7018 gives you a beautiful smooth bead with minimal spatter, but it likes clean metal and good technique. Now let's have a look at our chart. Our 6013 gives you shallow penetration. It's very easy, good for beginners, and light fabrication. Now your 7018 gives you medium to deep penetration, requires more skill, and is good for structural high stress work. Now your 6013 gives you the full choice of polarity. Your 7018 is limited to direct current electrode positive. Both these slags remove fairly easy, but the main difference here is that your 6013 has 60,000 pounds per square inch of deposited weld, whereas your 7018 has 70,000 pounds. There you have it, 6013 versus 7018. Both these electrodes serve their purpose. One is good for small repairs or if you're just starting out, or the other one's more for the pros looking to do more critical applications. Regardless, both these rods are excellent. So after some time, you may hear some welders say that I prefer just one rod over the other, and that's just for general fabrication instead of keeping both rods hanging around. For myself, I prefer the 7018. I find it more versatile. It produces a smoother weld that's better for out of position welding, meaning your vertical and your overhead. So I hope you like this. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe to the channel so I can keep building quality content like this. We'll catch you on the next one. And as always, keep those lenses clean.